guys. Um, so the piece I um, did is the one that's over there. It's also at the very end of the magazine, which you should have a look at and buy. <laughs> Um, it's called Thread Count, and it's a durational sculpture I made last year. It's basically an analog clock that uses embroidery thread to sew the time. And it does this with a series of motors at the back that pulls a black string across the canvas according to the hour mark. And then that black string disappears back into the canvas at the end of the hour. And ultimately, I sort of see it as part machine and part embroidery art. And it's a piece that is about reconceptualizing time and uh, the ways we measure it. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I have more to say. I'm just trying to remember what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, because I feel like for the most part we see time as an objective thing. Um, it's a container that holds our lives and it organizes it according to its own invi uh, invisible logic that we have no control over. And in that sense, the clock that we know today is this very cold, uh, relentless, and automated system that prioritizes the present but com has completely disregards history. Um, embroidery, on the other hand, is kind of like clockwork in that it's a series of uh, specific micro repetitions, but it's all about history and process. Um, it's a reflection of human domestic labor and the subjective lived experience. And so with that piece, uh, what it does is it replaces the human hand that would otherwise be weaving through the canvas uh, with the machine, with an automated system. And it sort of speaks about how over the years we've developed iterations of the clock um, that has ultimately erased um, subjectivity and the human experience. And it's over there, it's not powered right now, so you won't actually see it running. But next to it is a video that is a time lapse video, and so that's how you can check it out. And yeah, thanks for having me, you guys, in this issue.